Hello everyone, this is Satvik and welcome to the 8th episode in Windows Privilege Escalation series. This video will be seeing how we can uh, gain privileges through the help of always install elevated feature. So without getting any delay, let's dive into the video. Guys, first of all, really, really thank you for all your support. If you want to connect to me personally, you can check out my Twitter and the LinkedIn. The links are in the description below. And if you want to be part of my community where you can share your doubts and get updates regarding the content that I'm going to post, you can check out my Discord server. The link is in the description below. So guys, uh, we'll be today discussing about always install elevated features. So before that, you can see, you can find my uh, notes. So it's a kind of handbook. Uh, it, it is available on github and you can also find the notes link in the description below you can do check that out and keep that notes in your thing so and also uh, you can if you haven't followed the previous episodes in this windows pro escalation series you can go ahead and check out this playlist the link is in the description below so guys if you come to the what is a uh, always install elevated so what happens is like so there is a like in windows there is something called as executable and msi files as well so dot msi in the sense like microsoft installer so what this particular feature does is like always install elevated in the sense like whenever uh, you upload some kind whenever there is some kind of a microsoft installer extension so it's something like dot msi guys so as simple as that so like 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 if you run this application with the dot msi what happens is like you can run you can install an application something like that okay it's a microsoft installer as the name suggests so if you want to find more information about this thing you can go and check out the link or you can do your own research anything is fine so as the name suggests so whenever there is a microsoft installer so always elevated in the sense always install elevated in the sense like so it is going to install as a uh, something like a higher user like an admin or administrator or whatever it is so how we can exploit it is like we can create an own msa file so which is a reverse in our shell or some other uh, some other case so reverse shell or whatever it is with a format of a dot msi and then what we can do is like we can simply get a reverse shell so as simple as that so before that we need to do some kind of recon so where you can find oh, what are the applications that you can install as elevated or uh, whether you need to test whether there is a feature like always install elevated is available on your system or not so this is a kind of feature guys not a bug so so copy any of this so this is also a query so this is also related to the registry thing only so previously auto runs also registry thing only so even this is also a registry one so registry is a database of settings for your software applications hardware whatever it is so as simple as that so simply copy this thing and make note of this stuff guys so it will be definitely useful and before that you can see i transferred a shell.exe and winpiece or whatever it is so whatever all the necessary things and i even started my uh, listener here so let me get a command line session so you can see i got a command line session and even this is my uh, desktop session everything is fine but uh, i like working from command line session because what happens is like in uh, if you take a cta for exams like you might not always be getting a desktop connection so command line connection is uh, is always necessary thing so keep that in mind so it is simple guys just trans just create a payload just transfer it and you are good to go so just paste the thing so you can see uh, what it looks for is like there is a location like this so for installer and it checks for an option called as always install elevated so you can see 0x1 so 0x1 is a hexadecimal 0x in the sense like hexadecimal and 1 in the sense yes so you can see uh, even they mentioned so it is set one so you can even run the second option the policies whatever it is but both are same only so if you want you can run it but both are same here so now we can confirm that we have something like always install elevated feature as on so what we can do is like let's open a new tab and let's create a microsoft installer so you can simply copy the thing here so we'll just change the l host and uh, ips and uh, ports and stuff so it will be good to go for us so first of all let's change the l port to something like the uh, 666646 okay i'm just changing it and uh, let me also find my ip uh, my ip so l host ip so this is here so control c and uh, just paste it so this is also an easy thing guys to uh, do work for and you can see i'll just explain more quickly so windows it's a uh, shell thing so not a metapreter based one so l host l port and the format we are looking for is a microsoft installer format and the output is reverse dot microsoft installer so we'll name something like install something like that so because there is already something with the name uh, already with uh, in my case so if you want you can put it like that that's fine 
so i'll just uh, you can see this is how it looks like just wait for some time so also guys try to make note of this stuff like you don't need to note all the commands but uh, like you can see how you can see the settings for uh, whether the uh, feature is on or off something like that okay but uh, that's the thing and also we'll transfer this payload to our uh, windows thing so simple so python 2 so i'm using python 2 simple http server and port 80 so let's go back to our machine and let's uh, do xcls so search util or we'll do here man not an issue so we already have a session right we'll do it here so cert util hyphen url cache hyphen f okay and http colon slash slash and paste this thing and what is the name uh, which is uh, install.msi install.msi and we'll name it uh, install with the same name so install dot msi so you can use other stuff like some people like using powershell uh, to install you can use anything else it's your completely your choice so sim let me hit enter so you can see it's online and it's completed if i do a quick dir you can see there you can find something like install dot msi so in order to install an msi you can see something like uh, some steps here so msi exec is a kind of utility so you can simply look for the documents so docs and let me paste this thing so you can see msi exec to in order to install this uh launching and installing a package so installing package here in our sense is like a msi file so it finds few options here so you can read and refer to those options but we'll simply run them okay so but before that what we need to do is like we need to have our listener okay so listener is an important thing so let's start a listener so nc oh, sorry nc hyphen nvlp and port 666 in my case so it might be different in your case keep that in mind okay so let's run this thing and uh, install.msi so here guys in this task you can see there is a different location so the author install it in a different location so you can uh, inst uh, can change it to the different path where you download it it's completely fine sometimes mostly you might not be able to download in the normal location it might be in something like temp or something like that so make sure you provide the exact location so that it works properly fine so let me hit enter now you can see we got a session so if i do a who am i so we are an anti-authority system so we install we got a privileges like a high user or high elevated user compared to that of previous user so i'll give you i'll give you a quick brief guys so always install elevated is a settings okay so which helps you in order to install so this dot uh, msa files as a high privileged user okay so if you find something like that you can simply create a dot msa file you can transfer it and you can simply install it and you are good to go so this is as simple as that guys so uh like this is the most simple thing uh, that i've ever done because like this is a simple simply uh, looking for a setting and then creating an executable or sorry dot msa file and then running it and you'll get a shell so that is it how you can uh, exploit this particular feature called as always install elevated and you can get your privilege escalation done and uh, if you have any doubts or anything regarding this session you can check i uh, can contact me on my discord so the link in the description below and if you really like this video make sure you like it and do share with your friends who are really interested in this stuff and uh, this is satvik signing off and i'll meet you in the next video thank you